British national security continues to be undermined thanks to the incompetence of the Home Office and the disgusting efforts of the political left as a Jamaican criminal's deportation was blocked, resulting in him committing the ultimate crime. This is the latest example of how the system is so broken that people in this country are not feeling safe about even leaving their home, especially in cities, especially in urbanized areas. But this is now happening everywhere. This is about actual foreign criminals who should be deported, yet at the same time, on the one hand, there are so many of them that the Home Office are not really on top of the case, and even when they try their best, when we had Priti Patel as Home Secretary in 2020, trying her best to deport a number of them, especially to Jamaica, the deportation was blocked thanks to the so-called human rights activists and lawyers and the Labour Party and the left-wing celebrities. They were very self-righteous. They thought that they were saving innocent people. But that resulted in absolute chaos. This is the story of Ernesto Elliott. This absolutely disgusting human who was supposed to be deported three years ago in uh, December 2020. And the problem with that was that the mob rule was so successful, they had everybody behind them, is that it wasn't just left-wing lawyers, it was everybody from the Labour Party to celebrities, that they succeeded. Now, this resulted in him committing the ultimate crime and taking someone's life, some innocent man's life, because he's a psycho. He's, he's dangerous. He should not be here. This happened in June 2021, only six months after his deportation was blocked. Where is the outrage? Where, I, I, we're still waiting to see if people who care about the safety of this country, the same political leftists who go out there and say, we are doing what we can because we have compassion when it comes to the British people. We want to help the British people. Do they? I don't think they do, because this is the result of their own actions. When they tried their best to block Priti Patel just because she was a right-wing home secretary, so they thought, well, we should just go against anything that she stands for. Whatever she's doing, we must oppose. Well, this happens. So, the 23 criminals, uh, they, they were all sentenced to a combined 156 years in jail. Their appeals came just uh, um, days after 60 celebrities, authors and other public figures signed an open letter opposing the flight, the deportation flight. That included you know, Naomi Campbell, you know, actors from Line of Duty, you had uh, Naomi Harris from James Bond, uh, we had uh, they, uh, so many people, and also a host of Labour MPs who also added their signatures to this open letter. They were very self-righteous, and this happened. This is absolutely weird why there's not much enough outrage in the mainstream media. Now, Priti Patel said about this, that this case is exactly why we must continue to defy the uh, protestations of from the Labour Party, the do-gooding celebrities, and immigration lawyers, and remove convicted foreign criminals, and all the other disgusting people who have no right to be in this country. But who's going to be listening to this? And I'm not just completely targeting the political left, because this is also on the so-called Tory government. The Tory establishment. Yes, you might have one or two uh, sound conservatives in the party, but the rest of the machine, the rest of the people around you, every single person from the special advisors to people who are around the MPs and ministers and people who run uh, the Tory HQ, where is the culture that was supposed to be promoting conservatism and urgency to protect our interests? And our security. It's, it's, it's quite funny. It's, 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 at this point, we don't even know what to do. We just have to laugh at how rogue this country is. If I leave my house today or tomorrow, anything could happen. And it's not just because and it's part of parcels of living in a city, as Sidney Khan would say. No, it shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't be this dangerous to live in a safe, so-called civilized, prosperous democracy. It's bad. All right, anyway, we're going to be 
taking a quick break. I'm going to come back in um, half an hour and tell you guys more about what's going on in and around the country. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.